Local saxophonist and educator is working on his debut album, and he's sharing his creative process along the way. Kettleland's Dan Centella brings the musical art from the musician's mind to our ears in tonight's Eye on Kettleland. <laughs> Joel Shotwell of Sioux Falls compares the album of music, which he hopes to release sometime later this year, to another art form. It's more like a painting, you know, it's instead of a thing that you just capture in the moment. Contributors are from far beyond South Dakota. There's people from like New York, Denver, Sioux Falls, Brandon on this album. One of the contributors is local musician Jim Spears on trumpet. I'm very uh, honored that Joel asked me to, to join him. Um, this would be kind of his solo album. It's great. I love uh, playing with Joel anytime I get a chance. Shotwell himself contributes more than playing on saxophones. Uh, I play I play Barry, tenor, and alto on it for sure. And I play bass clarinet and some flute and some regular clarinet. Um, and then I play bass too on a track. Spears has strong praise for Shotwell. I, I would argue that Joel is one of the one of the top two or three saxophonists in in the Midwest. It's a collection of uh, songs that mostly are just me and some of my good friends that I've made music with, which was, I think, kind of like a, a natural thing because of the way I'm recording it is everybody's doing their parts kind of separately. One of the songs is called Everything a Thousand Million Times. Shotwell's daughter Riley provides the creative spark. Inspired by a little phrase that we say to each other at night. He sees the song as a lullaby. I love you too, and then we'd say, okay, good night. Goodbye, remember to give me a kiss before you go to bed, and then all this stuff. So she, instead of like saying it all, we'd say everything, and then we'd say everything a thousand times, and it just turned into that. In this song, the phrase everything a thousand million times is set to notes on a saxophone. Everything a thousand million times. And when she'd say it too at night, like... It's music as conversation. Do it, I was like, how does she sound when she does it? because she has like, you know, kids have a sing-songy voice. They do it automatically. Another song is titled 527. Jimmy's chasing me around. So Jimmy's just chasing me. Yep. Call and response is a common format in jazz music, when two different instruments respond to each other's playing with some notes of their own. That's what's happening here. So then Jimmy will take a solo here, and the form changes, and it adds guitar. Uh, and then when it comes back around to that same section, I'm chasing Jimmy. But what I love about working with Joel is that he's also open to new ideas within his own music. Appropriately enough for this project, Spears is Riley's godfather. The album is jazzy, yes, but at times it might remind you of rock. I'm working to do things that are, are mine and original, uh, and, and, I, and I love to do it with people, so. This is uh, just another way to do that. It might be hard to describe this music as belonging to just one genre, but it's unmistakably one kind of music, his. I just want to like make myself relevant to myself. Like I want to know what my voice is. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Dan Centella. Shotwell estimates that the album is likely 60 to 70% complete.